that plagued the passengers of a ship sailing towards the United States. Each episode of 1899 dives into a variety of sci-fi ideas and plot elements without providing a comprehensive justification for any of them. While gradually revealing the traumatic backstories of its main characters, massive black structures start growing out of the ship's walls towards the end, and when Virginia Wilson, played by Rosalie Craig from the cast of The Queen's Gambit, touches one, the black mass starts spreading all over her body. Like everything else in the simulation, the black substance is also a code that represents a virus. Daniel intentionally hacks into the system and introduces the virus to the simulation to prevent Henry from restarting the loop. This explains why he asks other passengers to avoid touching it. A pathetical situation in which a group of people are trapped inside a cave with only a blank wall in front of them is described by Plato in his 1899 allegory, The Cave. Although the wall reflects shadows from the world behind them, it never accurately captures that world for them. The cave people accept the reality that is presented to them despite the limitations in their senses because it is the only reality they are familiar with. The same allegory was used in films like Wachowskis's The Matrix, Scorsese's Shutter Island, and Christopher Nolan's sci-fi masterpiece Interstellar. Henry recalls that Mora used to obsess over Plato's allegory when she was younger. That is probably where she found inspiration for creating alternative realities or, rather, shadows of reality through simulations. However, after she lost her memories and Henry took control of her simulations, he became the bearer of reality, while her simulation became a mere shadow on the wall. Since Henry, too, is a part of a simulation, Plato's allegory is an endless cycle in 1899, where the leader of the simulation chain remains unknown. Has Mora escaped the simulation in 1899's ending? After escaping the simulation in the Netflix horror sci-fi series, Mora wakes up in a space station where she finds the other passengers plugged into a machine. This confirms that no one actually died on that ship. She finds a screen that reveals the name of the space station as Project Prometheus, and the present year is 2099. This is followed by a welcome to reality message from Syrian which confirms that he knows about his sister's escape from the simulation. Since 1899 season 1 ends after this, one can only guess whether Mora has escaped all simulations or gets trapped in another. However, since the space station shares its name with the ship, it is possibly another simulated reality created by Syrian. Another detail confirming this is the phrase may your coffee kick in before reality does that Syrian leaves for Mora in the space station. In a previous scene, Anchor, played by Alexander Willem from Wheel of Time's cast, and Ramiro find the same phrase written all over a book in the ship's control room. Although 1899 never explains the phrase's significance, it seems to be Syrian's way of poking fun at his prisoners. By alluding to the false sense of wakefulness that comes when the brain is flooded with dopamine after the consumption of coffee, Syrian seems to insult Mora and others who willingly chose to live in fake simulations just to deal with the burdens of their realities. Since he greets her with the same message in the space station, it is possible that he is about to put her and the passengers through another puzzling simulation in 1899 season 2.